Speaking of saving the world and pit bulls, let's travel all the way to Maine to hear about one. Uh, I've had my pit bull for five years now. His name is Rudy. I like the uh, looks of them. Um, I like the muscle stance of them. The kind of gives. I like the look more than anything. You know, kind of tends to be, tell people that you know it's more of a intimidation thing on looks. That's what I look at. I mean, I don't want him to be aggressive, but I just want him to people to know. Hey, I don't need to walk through that door. I have five cats with him, and he is awesome with every one of them. He plays with them. He sleeps with them. I mean, he's awesome with every animal that I've encountered with him. He's been awesome with. I asked Ryan his thoughts on the ban of breed-specific dogs in certain areas in legislation right now. I don't agree with it. I don't. I believe that the uh, dog is, any breed of any dog is the same. I mean, it's how it's raised is the big thing. Pit bulls have a very notorious name for being aggressive. I don't believe that. I believe it's the owner and how they raise the dog and how they are with the dog. Um, That's what I believe. I've been a firm believer of it. And I've had different breeds of dogs as well besides pits that are notorious. I've had Rottweiler and the Doberman, and they've both been awesome dogs. I asked Ryan if he had any issues owning or renting a home because of his pit bull. This is what he had to say. Yes. I actually went to rent an apartment, and they would not rent the apartment because I had a pit bull. Here in El Paso, I interviewed First Lieutenant Daylon Douglas and wife Mandy on the issue of breed-specific bans on dogs and housing authorities. Association, the, like the housing development, they actually have a ban on all bully breeds, which are pit bulls, Rottweilers, and Dobermans, I believe. Yeah, there's, I mean, more than that, but that's the, that's the main, the main <laughs> Right. So people would see them and go tell on us, basically. So after my home, after the homeowner, Heard about it enough, um, contacted us, and so we got quality trained as my service dog. So okay. he can't be banned anywhere for the rest of his life. That's what my vet, the vet that we took him to, um, I was explaining the situation they're having with the pit bulls, and they're like, those, from what he's seen as a veterinarian, and he's been doing it for like over 30 years, he said they are much more common than some of the smaller, smaller breeds. The show that airs on Animal Planet, Pitbulls and Parolees, believes in giving Pitbulls a second chance and seeing them in a different light, as well as Parolees. Sit. My name is William Watson. I'm from West Covina, California. I spent 20-some years in prison because I was an active gang member. Everything from extortion to assault with a deadly weapon to possession of guns, uh, shootings, by 17, 1988, gunshot wound to the head, point blank range, uh, selling crack cocaine. It hit me here, and it's now here. It's still there. Then uh, I get headaches, you know what I mean? The longest amount of time I've, I've done is 10 years. It was for bank robbery. My parole officer did not give up on me. She came to my house and see me working with my dogs. And she actually told me about Mia Lobos, and I was like, yeah, I can do this, you know? She said, let me see if I can hook it up. So I sold my car for $1,200, got a bus ticket, jumped on it, spent two days on the bus, and I called Tia from the bus station here in New Orleans. She's like, I'll be right there. The dogs have done what they always done for me. They've allowed me to relax. Your first bath, little mama. You like it? It's really cool that Miss Tia would see in a wretch like me that I have that connection with dogs. And I like that. And I love Miss Tia for it. I'm even more thankful she asked me to do this adoption with her. I love to see one of these pups get into a good home. Did you have fun? Huh? Did you have fun? Too often are pit bulls seen as an aggressive breed or fighting dog instead of the nice and caring dog that they can be. Together, with an open mind, we can change the way the world view pit bulls, from behind the cage to free with no restrictions.
so beautiful And I tell her every day Yeah, I know, I know When I compliment her, she won't believe me And it's so, it's so sad to think that she don't see what I see But every time she asks me, do I look okay? I say When I see 